All right, Scoopit has some amazing new features. I want to show them off to you. Scroll from your main board down to any of your topics. I'm going to go to clinical trial recruitments and social media. You'll notice right away it's saying new under customization and SEO site integration. Oh, and wait, for those who haven't done this yet, right here, I have a subdomain. It's pointing to my own site, seocmo.com. I didn't do it before because the branding was too difficult. Now I've done it. Let's walk through the customization first. These are the elements here. Background header, insight scoops, insert HTML page. It's all too hard to go ahead and get this formatted from a subdomain. But now we have templates. Let me show you the joy of these. Scoop it showing you a preview of your default standard template and you have a few more choices here. They're offering personalized, adaptive, and one column. I'm playing around with personalized and adapt. If you pick one, such as the personalized, it gives you a preview over here. I kind of like this one, but I'm going to play with a couple of them. It, it can put your social media icons here. I'll show you that in a second. And it shows your other topics that you're also curating. To fully take advantage of this, especially with the subdomain, you want to edit your template parameters first. There are a lot of different options you have here, but I'm going to take you right to your social bio. In this area here, you can enter in your Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google Plus URLs. You can also create a custom block if you want to put it in here as well. But wait, there's more, a lot more. Finally, we can edit the HTML itself for the template. This is the mother load and gives me much joy. From here, I can do things such as insert my own navigation to tie my subdomains back in with my actual website itself. And I can create my own custom footers, for example. A lot of other things you can do with the raw HTML and the style sheet if you know how. If not, you can get somebody to help you out fairly inexpensively. You can see on this template my top LinkedIn tips that I have my LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google Plus all teed up here. I'm also still in Scoop It itself. Look, over here I've got my Scoop It, I got my notifications, and I have my login and drop down here, despite the fact that I'm on my own subdomain. My suggestions work just as they always do as well. To take full advantage of the SEO set integration, there's a couple of new features that Scoop It's offering. First, we can get an embed code to embed it in our website. Or, over here, we can integrate with WordPress. But first, let me show you the change URL or domain for those who may want to put it on their own site. This is the first side. Choose your custom domain. You need to put in a CNAME record. All oh, this is just for information. You enter in your subdomain you're pointing to on your site right here. And on the flip side, I'm sitting here in Bluehost in their DNS editor. And you can see some of the host records and where it points to here. Very easy, it's that simple. The interface Bluehost has is right here. Put in your subdomain, put in www.scoopit.it, add the record. You're good to go, it's that simple. You can do it in either order, it doesn't matter. You can do that first, then come back in here, save it, and you're good to go. Two different WordPress integrations for those who have the business plan, like myself, you have the embed in your website. For those who have the marketing planner above, you can directly integrate with WordPress. Essentially, Scoopit becomes a, another CMS for you. You get full SEO benefits, and I highly recommend this to those who care to pay the price and need the functionality. I'm going to show you the embed to your website. You have a number of options here on picking the posts per page. You can hide article summaries, curator insights, hide the navigational footer, and you can also enable large images. I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to hide the footer. Click to generate the embed code. You get a preview below of what it might look like with the larger images, and you just click to copy the code. Sitting over here in WordPress, you just go ahead and add a new post or a page, which I actually want this one to be a page. Title your page, make sure you're in text editor, pop in the embed, and you're done. You can do whatever else you want to do here. You can put anything else you want. It's WordPress. Publish the page. We'll go view it, and here we go. On the site itself, in a folder, I have my board right here. Let's take a quick look. I have my large image features. Meh, maybe I'll go with small. It was a good experiment, though. Again, if you view source here, this is just a JavaScript. There's not much home, no real SEO benefit. What I really have instead is this view right here. I'm logged out. You can see my subdomain up top here. And you can see what it takes to look like. I have my little template sitting here, my 
links to my social profiles, other topics I'm curating there, and this looks like the scoop it that we all know and love. It's sitting here. I can go ahead and rescoop. I can do all the sharing, and I can go ahead and click through. It'll take me right to that particular blog article. If you take a quick look at the source code, you'll see there's actually some content here. Much better for SEO, although it's a subdomain. However, since I'm going to integrate it with navigation and other elements back to my blog, I'll pick up some benefits for it. That's it. I encourage you to play around and uh, check back with me when I finish my navigation up as well. Any questions or want some tips or advice, feel free to reach out to me or the darling Allie Gear. She's amazing and we'll all help you out with Scoop It. Take care.